Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where I think we're good to go out and about. We want to go to the hostage one. That would be, I think, uh, no, the missing survey team. Yeah. And Hades Gamma Cluster. What? Oh, oh, that's right. I actually went there. I was like, wait, this is, this is weird. Okay, the Antaeus system and the Hades Gamma. And I did actually find that one. But I only did that because I was like, I had like five minutes left in the video. And I was like, uh. <laughs> and I didn't want to like start a main mission yet. I remember that. So I went and like started a side quest instead. It's so shiny in here. Oh my gosh, who should I? Bet yeah, I bet you actually Garrus and Ashley would get along like as people. I'd love to see what the Normandy can do in a fight. Me too. The Normandy isn't built for a stand-up oh, fight. Oh yeah. I'd rather rely on the IES than the shields. But the stealth drive adds a new tactical level to space combat as we know it. Surprise attacks, undetected flanking maneuvers. I don't know, Garrus. I'd rather not be the first one up the ladder when it comes to new tactics. They would have such a great time, like, like talking military strategy together. Guaranteed. Now we can go back into the wards. I could just, like, totally fast travel. Well, I mean, take a little air car. That's what those little fast travel points are, technically. That's why that one messes me up, because it's not actually a fast travel point. It's just a place where a car sits. That soundtrack in the elevator actually becomes like a really fun hit in the Mass Effect 3 Citadel DLC. That's strange. The Geth are attacking, and everyone around here is still worried about... Oh, yep. You're military, Chief Williams. They're civilians. Civilians never believe the enemy is coming until they're at the gates. Technically, you're a civilian too. c is a civilian. Uh, well, you know, he's former c -Sec, but... c is a civilian force. But, you know, he gets it. Right. The Turians are very military, so... Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
decontamination in progress. I don't know if I want two people with first aid, but I guess it's logged. Not a, the commanding officer not is a terrible aboard. thing. Exo Presley stands relieved. Oh boy. And they're the two that I have kitted out right now. Wait, wait, retreat, retreat, retreat. I have, I have. Oh my gosh, let me out. I have. Oh, I don't want to. I have that new armor for Rex, but it would require me going downstairs all the way to his locker to change that for him right now. Hades Gamma. Mew, yeah, no, this one isn't. No, of course it. Local cluster. Oh, and at some point we should go to the moon. Was that? I think it was on um, TS, yeah. Whoop. And I know I've explored this system, like, thoroughly by checking each planet already. I don't know if I've mentioned, but the collector, like, the collector, th collector thongs we have to do. Um, not collectors. <laughs> That's the next game. Um, the collective thumbs we have to do do give you a bonus uh, to materials and stuff in the next game. Where is it? I assume it was this one. Third planet from the sun. Okay, who do I want to I don't run out Caden? Caden and Nat. No, not Caden and Ashley. Why would I have two humans on my squad at the same time? Caden and Gary. I'm actually really intrigued about. Whoa, this could get us actually destroyed. <laughs> They're actually too squishy. No, no, no. And I am also too squishy. Uh. And then it would be Ashley and Liara as a squad. Let's see what they measure up to be. They should be good. We would have no tech. Uh, that's actually not great. So I should actually probably bring Kate and Ashley and then Liara and Garrus. Like just to get the achievement. Nope. Yeah. Cause I need somebody to add tech so I can uh, unlock things. Like unlock loot stuff. Uh, oh man, it just makes me cringe on the inside. Uh, yeah. da -da 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 Let's do this. We'll complete five missions. It'll just take us a while, but I'm not too concerned. We should have enough missions that it shouldn't be a problem. I could be wrong though, I could like be, I could like not have enough for like one individual person. I'll, I'll have like one person left that I'll have to like kit, like that I won't have their stuff for and I'll be really sad at their achievement. So we have first aid, what? Improves the recharge time on squad healing, grants the neuro, okay, cause I'm like what exactly is medicine? I forget what it is all the time. Advanced medicine, it's sentinel all the way up. He's essentially like me, except he has tech abilities to lift. Da 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 into there and into here. Reduces recharge time on first A. Yeah. We're probably gonna. Well, okay, we have Rex. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, we're probably gonna need a lot of first aid, but we do have Rex, so. Okay, equipment. Let's give Rex his armor that I just bought him. Oh, buddy. Beefy. He looks exactly the same, but beefier. 
Was it, is it mercenary? No, it's... Yes, it is. Where is it? Oh, yeah, mercenary. Alrighty. Yeah, let's do that. Pick with that one. Do we have a bear? Yeah. Oh, sure. Sorry, you're getting like subpar stuff. Anyway, he's got. I think he's only actually like a pistol guy. Oh, he, that's right, he doesn't have any specific abilities because he's biotic and tech. He doesn't have any specific weapon proficiency. I think he prefers a pistol. We'll give him a pistol. That's what biotics get. Senior, you sure? Mm, well, sure. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. We can give you. We'll give him. Yeah, his his secondary weapon can be an assault rifle. Ba -da -da. sure is a way to clear out my inventory is actually equipping all of my companions. Uh, squad mates, their companions in Dragon Age, squad mates in Mass Effect. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We are here because... Where's the mine? This terrain wreckage. Was it over here? It might have been the debris or the anomaly, because these... Yeah, we'll just go over here. I do like that in Andromeda, the car time is where people like to chat, which is nice. Like, I, like, I don't know, it's like every 15 minutes or something, they, they'll chat. I think even if you're engaged with the enemy, which is great, because in Dragon Age Inquisition, that was kind of a problem. Um, and it was bug when Inquisition first came out. Uh, the trigger, the trigger mechanism for conversations, like in the code, was bugged a bit. Um, so they did fix that. La 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 la. But then when they, like even when they fixed it. It turns out, like, I, I, I got a mod for it and everything, and the mod, the modder explained what happened, essentially, but, like, it wasn't a bug in the code, so there was nothing to, like, fix. Like, I mean, after they fixed it, it still wasn't, it wasn't actually bugged anymore, but it, um, still wouldn't trigger conversations very often, but that was because, like, the, if you, like, every 15 minutes it would say, like, has the conversation happened? Yes or no? And if, you know, if it hadn't, they would, oh, I remember this. Uh, they would, uh, they would chat, but the other thing was it had to make sure that there was no enemies close by. Uh, and if there were enemies close by, it wouldn't trigger the conversation. Um, so then it would, you know, you'd have to wait another 15 minutes for it to go through. So you could go like an hour and a half, it would seem. You know, or at least like 30, 45 minutes. No! We don't have electronics. Somebody, I guess Caden has electronics, doesn't he? He does, but his electronics scales don't lie, but it in decryption! Dang it, I, I keep thinking decryption's the one that unlocks things, but it's not. Well, it isn't some things, but not some other things, it's electronics. Anyway, it's fine. Oh! Mirror. Hmm. No. What? Ah. No, I don't like. I remember that one. I don't like it. It's like a human jump pad. What? No, not that one. <laughs> Where's my armor that I had? Is that the army? No way. What am I doing? What armor was I wearing? It 
wasn't... It wasn't Survivor. Was it Guardian? Yeah, I had higher shields. Oh. Oh, okay. I mean, we can try this, but it's nice to have the N7 armor back. It's technically a higher number, but... Oh, the gladiator armor's dumb. I don't like it. I like having tech and biotic, but uh, I want to be more of a frontline person, so... Maybe I go bright yellow and I just suffer. No. I like this one. And it's not like that much of a comparable difference between them all. finished my Dragon Age companion dialogue story anyway. Uh, so that was a problem in that game. So I think in Andromeda I just made it so that it always triggered like every 15 minutes dialogue would trigger. No matter if you're in a fight or not. But I think only as long as you're in the vehicle. And if you, t you, got, out if you got out of the vehicle while they were talking, I think it kept going. Um, but only if you were in the vehicle did they did they chat like every 15 minutes or so, which was which was fine. Uh, it's a trap. Look at all these weird these these this debris. Wow, that's so weird. Disable the transmitter. Wow. Get updated? Was oh it was the excavation site that I had to go to. That's okay. Well it's good that I'm here now. I was able to shut that down. We got the research site and the excavation site were close to each other, but they were separate and distinct entities. And the excavation site's where I gotta go. My problem is when I think of excavation, I think of open air excavation. I don't think about tunneling down to alien technology. It's just not my number one thought. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'm rooted in realism. Good old realism. At least when it concerns archaeology. Oh yeah. So this is not the way it used to be because you could all, the way it was you could like keep driving like with your stick pushing in one direction but have like the camera to control where the make was going I, d I could not figure it out before the difference between the two I couldn't remember which one was which but now just doing that like that was like an old habit where like you could keep you could keep pushing the left stick forward and keep driving forward as you spun around but it's all good this way this way has been fine and, again, I could be totally wrong. I could be totally misremembering and thinking of a different game. Open oh, Sesame. Uh, are these guys, are they creepers? Or are they? If they're creepers, I have a mind for that. But they might just be Geth. Or not Geth. Um, they might be Geth, but they might just be regular husks. I think they're regular husks. <laughs> Save! Or I'll freaking yeet myself out a window. There they are. See them on the little. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Are they coming? Whoa, jeez! I was close enough for that? Oh, 
Oh my gosh, having three biotics with throw is gonna be great. Hang on. Ooh. care of himself so we have to take care of him for him mm. please fire Rex please feel free to oh boy Oh, he died! He died so fast! Oh yeah, oh yeah. That, it didn't, oh, I did it actually a little bit. They don't glow, I hate them so much. Oh my gosh, I hate them so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You gonna make it, darling? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I don't remember, but we will say we will save here. I don't remember if there's more of them in a second room. If there is, I will have to heal them because I think Caden doesn't have regen. Rex does, because he's a Krogan. Yeah, whoa! This is, what, this is what they found when they excavated. It's the same thing that we saw in... when we were in Pharos, right? And we found the Geth, like, worshipping it. Um, anyway, there's... I think there's, like, maybe, maybe one more we can find on a planet, and they don't do anything ever, and they don't mean anything, and nothing ever comes of it, at least as far as I know. They freaking don't do anything. It's just like I think it's just supposed to be like a like a symbol essentially, you know, of like the complexities of the Geth and when I knew there were gonna be crates around here. Ooh, the Naginata. I think the Naginata's good, I could be wrong. I don't remember all the weapons and what's good of what, except for the Black Widow. I know the Black Widow's a good sniper rifle. Oh my gosh, of course. Oh, also we got better guardian armor. That's dope, but of course I'd buy. I would have I cried uh, if I had gone to the main menu. Of course, after I buy Rex new armor, we freaking find him. <laughs> okay, it's got a little bit of tech, but it's not, no. It's good, it's fine, we're good. We'll keep it, but we're not gonna worry about it right now. Um. Is this one? No. Oh, there. That's what it is. Okay. It was the same armor, just a little bit better quality. I knew there were goodies I gotta save, because I think uh, I might actually be wrong on this, but I think the 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 things that you can get in crates will change like it's randomly generated i knew it i knew there were more of you in there oh my gosh 
I saw I saw Rex turn and start shooting behind me, and I started to turn because I was like, they're there. I know they're there. Okay, good thing we saved when we did. We just gotta lure him into here and blow him up with all this stuff. Oh, hey, look at this. La la la. All right, don't try to fight them here, fight them elsewhere. Can I? I just don't know if these guys are gonna like stand there and fight. Yeah. Finally, some action. Oh my gosh, Caden, you're the worst. I did absolutely a frick all to you, oh my gosh. Oh, hang on. Um. Fire in the hole. Whoopsie. Oh my gosh, Caden's already dead. How did this happen? Is freaking is Rex Rex is using the pistol? I can hear it. messed up their pathing. Yeah, that or they're like hovering over Caden's dead body. Oh boy. Oh no, please. For the love. For the love. It set off the container next to me. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> We're like so close. <laughs> the accuracy in this shotgun is way lower. I just switched shotguns, but. No! Oh my gosh, that's the worst. They just don't stop. Oh my gosh, it's warm. And accounts for all the next gen survey team. They were converted to the cybernetic husk by devices similar to those used by the Geth on each prime. How they came to be buried in a frontier world so far from the Geth territory is a mystery. It truly, truly is a mystery. Oh my gosh. Anyway, somehow I ended up on the sniper rifle. I'm not sure. Uh, also, last the second time my dad ever had to switch Rex over from the pistol, so he was still using the pistol. <laughs> but now I had him on the assault rifle and. For some reason, even though I didn't do it as far as I know, I got put on sniper rifle. Um, so I'll just switch off that now. But it worked okay. I just I just suck at the sniper rifle in such co close quarters, you know. But the sniper rifle is nice because if you do, I think if you get a headshot, um, it knocks him back. I think it has to be a headshot though. Anyway, there's goodies in here. There shouldn't, yeah, and it, there, there shouldn't be any more gear. There is one place you can go underground like this where it has two doors, and one of them that you pick has, um, has geth in it or something. Husks. I'm not sure. Husks, I think. Where is this water flow coming from? Hmm, there's no, hmm. There's water over here, but it's not it's not seeping through all the way to up here. Hmm. It's that's wrong. Oh no! Oh, we should have a high enough decryption. We just didn't have a high enough electronics. Uh. Ooh, getting into the sevens for pistols. Holy mo- what? Why is it so good? And it's like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the one, the pistol I was using had a third upgrade. I'm not- I thought that was only reserved for... What's you call it? Um... 
Uh, yeah, I thought it was reserved for Spectre stuff, but apparently it's like uh, higher than five. <laughs> seven ish? It's like it's seven ish. You get three. Anyway, I had that, I had that equipped. Um... Oh, yeah, heat seek capacity one. Let's, let's get you fixed up there. Uh, now we're good. All right, whee, okay. So that was the missing team. They all got converted to nusks. Science is dangerous, man. When you, when you don't know what you're doing when you're exploring space, it's thrilling to think about, truly. <laughs> but um, anyway. Hopefully this episode isn't too long, but really quick, I wanted to do my individual shout-outs for my patrons. Thank you so much, Reese Galito, once again, for the sapling uh, tier. I guess thank you so much. And thank you, Scalamunger, uh, so much. I appreciate you as an individual. <laughs> um, and then uh, thank you to the tier tree uh, patron, uh, Christopher, who I appreciate a heck ton. Uh, a heck of a ton. So thank you again so much, uh, you three. Um, and I wish I had, I should come up with like clever things to say, but I don't do that on the fly and I don't write things down. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.